UCSB could not pull off the upset against Baylor here in Denver. It was an end to an historic season for UC Santa Barbara. The fans saluted their gauchos one last time before UCSB walked off the court following a 74-56 loss to Baylor in a first round NCAA tournament game. Yeah, that was awesome. We had a good, obviously, all my people were here and from Minnesota uh, and basically sold out Nuggets Arena, so it was it was unbelievable to play in front of that. The underdog Gauchos gave their crowd plenty to cheer about in the first half as they shot over 61% and led 36-35 at the break. But UCSB went cold in the second half and Baylor pulled away. There's nothing to hang your heads on. We had a great first half. Uh, we ran out of steam in the second half. We didn't want to, you know, end here, but um, looking back at the whole thing we've accomplished, um, I'm definitely happy and proud of what we've accomplished. It was truly a banner year for the Gauchos as they celebrated a co-Big West regular season title, a conference tournament championship, a trip to the NCAA tournament, and a single season school record 27 wins. Broke the record all-time wins by four games. Really hard to do in college basketball. and. We'll all be connected forever with that record. I feel like, yeah, having this experience of March Madness is just great for all of the team, and it's a great experience, and we'll definitely be ready to keep going, keep working. First order of business is trying to keep Coach Pasternak at UCSB. He's been linked to a few job openings, including Cal. I asked him about it following the loss. A lot of rumors flying around. Is your first intention, your desire to, to stay at UCSB? Yeah, I love UC Santa Barbara, um, the community and everybody else, and I'm going recruiting uh, tonight. Regardless what happens, it was a fun, record-breaking season for UCSB. Reporting from Denver, this is Mike Klan.